I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The coronavirus is infecting the market as well as people. We've seen a sell-off in the stocks continue, and more cannabis events were canceled. Green Market Report is moving its April 3rd event to a virtual conference, and we'll have the details on that shortly. Now, the virus doesn't mean that business has stopped entirely, so here are this week's stories. Harvest Health and Recreation is buying Interurban Capital Group, or ICG, in a deal valued at $85 million. Harvest Health founder Jason Badati is resigning from his role as executive chairman, and he is being replaced by Mark Bernard. Terrasen and its wholly owned subsidiary, Terrasen Canada, has entered into a loan agreement with Canopy Growth in the amount of $80 million Canadian dollars in the form of a secured debenture. TerraSend is a Canopy Rivers portfolio company, so that's convenient. We have some earnings to go over this week. The Green Organic Dutchman reported its fourth quarter and year revenue. It came in at $3.25 million for the quarter and only $11 million for the year. The company had a net loss for the quarter of $144 million and a year's net loss of $195 million. So obviously shareholders weren't happy with that. Columbia Care reported fourth quarter revenue of $24.5 million and full year revenue of $78 million. The net loss for the quarter was $28 million and the net loss for the year was $106 million. Vireo Health closed on a non-brokered private placement offering of $10 million. Luxury cannabis company BR Brands joined forces with longtime cannabis beverage company Dixie Brands. They gave Dixie an implied value of $43 million. Psychedelic medicine company Mindbloom has opened its first location in New York City. The company says it has plans to expand rapidly and is looking at locations in Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco, and Austin, Texas. Headset released a new report this week saying that cannabis shoppers are enjoying bigger and better bargains, discounts are increasing, and prices are falling for shoppers at the dispensary. So that's good news. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart reporting from Times Square for the Green Market Report.